There's an interesting dispute going on there at the moment in the courts to do with Bewley's Cafe on Grafton Street. If you're interested in property, this is an interesting case because this premises, this property, is held on a lease, a long lease. And the dispute now is about the ownership of the six Harry Clark stained glass windows that are part and parcel of the building, or are they movable artworks? It's a high court case. The developer, Johnny Ronan's company, RGRE Grafton Limited, is seeking possession of the building, along with 747,000 in rent arrears, against the tenant, Bewley's Cafe Grafton Street Limited. The defendants, though, Bewley's Cafe Grafton Street Limited, have counterclaimed, and they are seeking a declaration that the windows are movable artworks that are not part of the structure of the premises. And these windows, just to put it in context, are estimated to be worth one million euros. So if the rent arrears are 747,000 euros and the windows are worth a million and the tenant who owes or is claimed to owe these rent arrears actually owns the windows, the six Harry, Cla Harry Clark stained glass windows, well then that's a game changer. The rent under the lease was 1.4 million uh, per annum, um, but the case opened last week there. Uh, it's a leased premises, and the question is, are the windows part and parcel of the building, or are they indeed movable artworks, movable chattels? Mm. The defendants claimed that they're movable chattels, not part of the structure. So this is very, very important, obviously, in the dispute and will be critical. RGRE's experts would say that the windows were designed, supplied and fitted specifically as windows by the Harry Clark studio in the late 1920s. They have an important illumination function, etc., also a ventilation function. RGRE also had evidence from the original commissioning documents which say they were a set of windows. So that is the situation there. It's an interesting case. Uh, if the court concludes that the Harry Clark windows are part of the building, that's the end of it for the defendant because RGRE cannot sell the building without its windows. Uh, if the conclusion is that they are not windows, that they're movable artworks, the case is not over from RGRE's perspective because the court will then have to consider the extent to which those decorative objects were permanently fixed in place. If you ever bought an apartment and you're interested in property, you will know that when you buy an apartment, you're buying a long lease and you're essentially buying an interest in a cube of space. Unlike a house or a freehold building, which you include or you own the walls and maybe adjoining walls and party walls and boundaries and so on, you might own all that good stuff if you own the freehold in a property, in a house, for example. But if you own an apartment, you have a lease, you have a long lease, and essentially what you have is a cube of space. Likewise with the Bewley's Cafe on Grafton Street, they have a long lease, it's, I think, 1926. Yeah, the premises was first leased in 1928 by Ernest Bewley from Bewley's Oriental Cafe. So you might have a freehold interest there, which might include the actual structure, the actual walls, the actual windows, and you might have a lease then, which entitles you to occupy the place, and you are essentially occupying or leasing, rather, space. And what you own is an interest in that space, not in the walls, or perhaps you may have some ownership of walls, depending on what walls they are, whether they are external walls or internal walls and so on and so forth. As I say, it's an interesting case and it's obviously a landmark, famous building, Bewley's Cafe on Grafton Street. The developer, Johnny Ronan, his company, Grafton Limited, they're looking for repossession and they're looking for rent arrears. And as I say, Bewley's then are counterclaiming and basically saying, OK, we might owe you the rent arrears, all right, but we own the windows. So it's an interesting case, interesting counterclaim. It'll be interesting to see what way the High Court goes with it. Hope you find this video useful. If you do, I'd appreciate if you give it the thumbs up down below. And you may be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you are, just hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot.